Oklahoma State guard and possible number one overall pick in this coming NBA draft, Marcus Smart. Marcus, Marcus Smart? Marcus, Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart. He didn't attack a fan. He like, well, we'll show the video and then we'll get into our recap. It's total bullshit, but just let's see it. Marcus Smart. But something we haven't seen in college basketball where a player enters the stands, you can tell the fans are shocked by Smart's reaction. Smart had to be escorted off the So the uh, person who put up that Instagram video uh, notes that. Jeff, look, we all know that Jeff Orr called him a piece of crap. He admits to it. ESPN released that video with the sound raised uh, to the nth degree so we could hear it. But the one thing that this guy on his Instagram page notes is that Marcus Smart says, call me a N-word one more time. Call me an N-word one more time. Now, I could not decipher it. After he said that, I tried. I, I watched it a few more times. If you tried to decipher what I tried to said. decipher, I tried to decipher what Marcus Smart said, and I do like I do believe that is what he said. If we could show it one more time, it's hard. Like I'm not a I'm not a lip reader. I'm so I'm just take it with a grain of salt. But I mean, we don't. We know Marcus Smart is saying this is what he said about the guy. Right. Well, sure. he, he didn't. He didn't admit to it in the press conference. No, but that's what everybody around him said. That's what the broadcasters heard. Like the broadcasters heard Marcus Smart say that that's what the guy. But told yeah, him. when ESPN and everyone else was reporting on it, they said they journalists and report. and they photographers and people in the st like I understand people in the stands are going to have his back. But they said reporters and uh, cameramen and whatnot. Do we have the video ready? And all of them, they said we didn't hear a racial slur. No, I, I don't know whether. I don't know what the guy said. Obviously, I wasn't in love. All we know is, <laughs> all um, we know is that he said, "You're a piece of crap." That's it. Right. That's what he's admitted yeah. to. I don't believe that for an eighth of a second. No, I don't either. Uh, but we know that Marcus Smart at the time thought that the guy used the N word because the Oklahoma State play-by-play -play announcer said it. He overheard Smart say, "That guy called me." Really? Yeah. Okay. So Did not that, know that. that's, that's how that. That's how it all started. That's sure. why. So that's. And then this guy has just been praying that no one has audio of that. And then he said, he texted a friend, or did, saying, you know, something to the tune of, you know, I, I open my mouth, I, I let my mouth get the best of me, I shouldn't have said that. This is a guy who has done... Travel thousand, yes, this I was going to bring that up. He's done that yep. to yep. a Texas A&M player, and maybe made ape faces to him. I don't know, he made faces to him. Really? I'm, Possibly. I, that's my interpretation. Okay, I'm all right, probably all right. Wrong. All But right. he made faces at the guy. We know that he did this to a player. For a player who had the audacity to dunk. Horrible <laughs> human being, <laughs> right. to, kill him. To, to yeah. try and score a basket for his team. Yeah. So, like, this guy's, a, this guy's a giant tool. Like, I mean, just out of control tool. He travels thousands of miles to go see Texas Tech basketball. Yeah, and at a moment when Texas Tech has won, they come up with a big steal. They got a two-point lead. They get a big steal, a breakaway layup. Smart commits a totally reasonable foul. You had to try. Sure. Right? Yes. And, Good and goes down in the crowd. And other people are doing, are, are helping Marcus Smart up. And yeah. everything's fine. He, he's fine. He's going to get up. He's bummed out. They're going to lose another game. And then this guy clearly said something. And Nobody goes back and shoves a guy who says you're a piece of crap. It just doesn't happen. We Video, know it. one more time if we can. But something we haven't seen in college basketball where a player enters the stands, you can tell the fans are shocked by Smart's reaction. Smart had to be escorted off the But that's, like, we're already too late. He was already confronting him, which means the... The, what, the thing that happened happened first, what caused him to jump toward him. Sure. He might have said right then, at the end, you're a piece of crap, might have been that got him shoved. Mm -hmm. But he'd already said the thing that brought Smart over there. Sure. W uh, would you deem a suspension worthy of Marcus Smart? Like one, one game, two games? Well, you he, got th he got three. Set an example? Yeah, he got three. What would you give? I, you know, I probably would be some sort of punishment for pushing a fan. I would have given him a game or two, um, I guess. But I mean... But I would give him a game or two, but I would be super supportive of him, like at the same time. Uh, I well, mean, it seemed like they were. It seemed like Travis Ford was, the coach. A little. Um, you know, I haven't heard Travis Ford today. I saw it all after the game. I was watching ESPN that night and watching a bunch of college basketball. And so, you know, we I. We still I, need to go to a UCLA game. By the way. Um, I know I almost went to SC UCLA at. at uh, you could have seen Nick Young. And it his was a, baby. You, and Jordan Farmer and his baby. And Farmer and his baby, yeah. It was, yeah. Totally it was cute, adorable. It was a cute picture. Yeah. Um, uh, so I, I think that I would say if I were Oklahoma State, hey, we can't have somebody go into the stands, but nobody gets to talk to our players like that, and we understand what Marcus did, but we have a, 
we can't let you go into the stands. And if I were Texas Tech, I would ban that guy for life, if that's what he said. Life, I wouldn't let uh, him He in. took himself out of attending any more home games throughout the entire season, the yeah. 2014 season. Uh, why haven't you been hired to do PR? I don't <laughs> understand. Every time you give these apologies, <laughs> like, oh, this is what the coach or the player or I don't know. team should have done. Well, I come from it, the They bat. seem like good apologies. I come from the, the, the greatest person in the world. Frank Mank? Knowing what people should say, yeah. Um, and so it's not that hard. You just have to, and that's genuine, and, and you can show support, and you can still suspend them because you can't shove a fan. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now we've heard other players for Oklahoma State say that, and other teams who say, man, you go to Lubbock, you hear horrible racist stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well. You know, and you hear it at Oregon, too, which has always been a strange, hor you know, two, yeah, oh, two, I think it was, uh, who'd they play on? I think two, like an Arizona assistant. It was either an Arizona assistant. No, they were home this week. So whatever the last home people to play at Oregon, uh, they said they got spit on, too. Like the uh, yeah, an assistant and the I trainer. Uh, but but it was black, Arizona. black players who go to um, uh, black players who play at Eugene are always like, this is the most hostile environment there is. Wow. And you wouldn't expect that in Eugene, no. but these fans in there have developed a sort of rabid. And clearly, you get to this point where people who are otherwise fairly normal just think hey it's sports anything goes i mean where else are you allowed to call a guy who's just been beaten right and it's just at his most emotional point at the end of that oklahoma state game comes down court he commits the foul to try and stop the layup but they're looking at being down four and yeah. the game's essentially no, over i mean foul. why is it okay to call him a piece of crap stand up and clap stand, help the man up like what a punk! I would not let that Jeff guy. Or I would not let that guy in my arena ever, ever. That would be the end of it with him.